Welcome everybody, my name is Brendan Snyder. Thank you for joining me. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button so you can support my channel. And as an added bonus, you'll be able to stay up to date on all that's happening in the world of music. All right, we're gonna take a look today at Dukes of the Orient and their second album, Freak Show. It just came out on August 7th of 2020. They're a relatively new band that formed in 2017 by Asia vocalist and bassist John Payne along with keyboardist Eric Norlander. John Payne fronted Asia for 15 years between 1991 and 2006. When the original 1983 lineup of Asia reformed in 2006, John Payne formed a group called GPS along with other former members of Asia. The GPS stood for Guthrie Govan on guitars, John Payne on bass and vocals, and Jay Shallon on drums. They were all the final members of John Payne's version of Asia in 2006, so they literally just moved uh, you know, sideways into this new band itself. And GPS also featured Ryo Okamoto on keyboards from Spock's Beard, which is another really great progressive rock band that's been kicking around for a long time. If you're not familiar with them, do check them out. And they made one album together, Window to the Soul, which came out in 2006. A really fantastic album, and it was unfortunate that they've never done a follow-up album to that. Uh, probably because in 2007, John Payne began touring as Asia featuring John Payne. And so at this point, there were actually two versions of Asia out there on the road, John Payne's version and the original lineup. Between 2007 and 2014, Eric Norlander was the keyboardist for John's version of Asia. And Eric Norlander, he's been out uh, playing in bands since 1993, most notably with a band called Rocket Scientist, and as a solo artist, and he does a lot of guest work too, always popping up on people's records. He's one of my favorite keyboardists and highly underrated in my opinion. Definitely check him out and look into his solo work. It's really fantastic stuff. He deserves more attention than he gets. And then in 2017, John Payne and Eric Norlander reunited to form the band Dukes of the Orient. John had said that he did this out of respect to the original lineup of Asia, as well as the fact that in 2017, John Wetton had passed away. So in all respects, Dukes of the Orient is the new Asia featuring John Payne. Also, um, so they released in 2018 their debut album, uh, which was a self-titled release, and it's immediately reminiscent of early Asia and the more prog rock stylings that John perpetuated while he was in the band. And then track seven on the debut album called Seasons Will Change was originally released as a new Asia song, but then was repurposed for this album here when they decided to uh, change the name and go as Dukes of the Orient. Which brings us to the second album, the follow-up, Freak Show. Uh, this one was released two years after the debut, and I was really glad to see that this wasn't a one-and-done affair like GPS was. Um, it's such a great debut album that I really wanted to hear what they would sound like doing a second album, a follow-up album. And so we finally get that here, and I'm hoping that they continue on for many years to come, as they're just really a fantastic band. For this album here, they added new members, uh, Alex Garcia on guitar and Frank Klapaki on drums. Uh, for a more cohesive sound as opposed to the debut album, which was done um, all with guest musicians. Uh, one difference on this album was that they added a saxophonist, Eric Tewalt, and I think they used him to really great effect throughout the album. This album was all written together over the last year, which I also think provides a more uniform sound to it. Uh, it's, for this album here, um, or as a whole, kind of the way the band is structured, Norlander's keyboards define the song theme, and John's vocal melodies really elevate it to the next level. The pairing of these two guys really works uh, great together, and as I said, I hope they stay together for a long time. Uh, with this band being every bit as good as Asia was while John Payne was in the lineup. Some of the standout tracks on the new album here are track one, The Duke's Return. A great melodic opener that's very reminiscent of 1980s Asia. And then track three, Freak Show, which is the title track to the album. Definitely the heaviest song that the band has recorded to date. And at first it caught me off guard, but I've really grown to love this song. 
the energy and the dirtiness of this song here makes for a very powerful and nice pace change uh, during the album while listening to it. Track four, The Monitors, which was the first video and single off the album, is currently my favorite track. The subject matter is very deep with the idea that everyone is being watched all of the time. Um, but the musical themes of it are very uplifting, so it makes for a very interesting pairing between the story of the song and the sound of it, as one being very deep and kind of heavy and the other being very uplifting, but I really like the track. And track eight, The Great Brass Steam Engine. It's a fantastic sort of futuristic uh, instrumental number that really lets the band shine, but especially Eric Norlander. If you like what he does on this track here, do check out his band Rocket Scientist and his solo work. Let's take a look at this. So this is the front cover. I found it kind of strange that they basically did the same album cover for the follow-up. And while this one has a much bigger logo, this one gets smaller, so really the only change is uh, the yellow to the purple. Now, if they were both self-titled debuts, I could kind of understand that as just one would be the yellow album, one would be the purple album, but uh, not really sure if they did that as a way to uh, save a little bit of money or not. Of course, here we get the track listing and one of the only good pictures of the band there on the back side. Here's the inside of that. This is what it looks like without the CD in it. And I will show you the booklet here. It's all just lyrics. Uh, it tells you who wrote them and whatnot. But uh, nothing uh, really in the way of band photos till you get to the back of this here. And you get these five little small ones. And then what's on the back. So kind of as a whole, I'm a little disappointed by the booklet. Um, the first booklet, uh, you know, as, as opposed to the, this one, has many more photos in it and things like that, and I think is far better done. But outside of that, the album is fantastic in my opinion. If you've been missing Asia featuring John Payne and wondering where they went, here they are. They're the Dukes of the Orient. Welcome to your new favorite progressive rock band. All hail John Payne and Eric Norlander. All right, I hope everyone enjoyed this, and if you did, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts. And I hope everyone has a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.